I was retired. Half the team knew me, half the team didn't. As soon as I got here, they put me into the starting lineup. That's a hard thing to accept if you're one of the other guys. Here's Radford for the record. Got it! Bryce Radford! The most three-pointers in a single game ever by an IUP Crimson Hawk. Unbelievable! If you watch the film, forget me making the shots out on the court. You should watch the bench over there. I mean, they're just jumping up and down like they've known me my whole entire life and are just rooting for me. And I think that was the coolest part about it. That's the relationship, that's the culture Coach Lombardi built, and that's what makes this program so great. As the season goes along, you're always looking at your team's deficiencies, and, and sometimes uh, they don't reveal themselves until you play eight, ten games. And my son Dante and I were having coffee, and Bryce Radford's name came up, and uh, he had uh, kept a relationship with Dante since leaving and myself. The next day, December 11th, Dante texted me uh, saying how the team could use me. Uh, let's use my last year eligibility. There's one person that could, could get me to come back and leave a whole life. It's Joe Lombardi. We've never picked up someone at midseason. The Bryce was, was extremely close with KJ Rhodes and Ethan Porterfield. And so he, you know, he was truly family. He sent me a, a text, uh, you know, back in October. Sitting at my home watching church with the Bible you got me. We got two rings and a lot of wins, but this is the most meaningful thing I got in four years of college. I use it every single day. Forever grateful and thankful for you, Coach. I love you. That was rewarding itself as a coach. And then for him to come back and have the success that he's had, he had to wait and be patient and, and, and kept his heart in the right place. God put me here for a much bigger purpose than to just get the crowd excited about making threes. And that's what coaches stress to me. There, there's some special young men on this team and not a lot of teams would welcome a guy that hasn't been working with them since August to come in and have that type of success. And there, there would be resentment, but uh, People like KJ and Ethan and Garv, they really cheered hard for him and, and they really um, enjoyed his success as much as, as much as he has. I've dreamed of a game like that in the KCAC with these fans, the community, the support that the basketball team gets. It's one of my favorite things about this place. So to be able to do that in front of them and share that with them and they were so excited that I was back. I was so excited I got to play in front of them and really play major minutes and contribute. To be able to do that in front of them, it was that was God telling me I was right where I needed to be and I couldn't be happier. <laughs>